Welcome. The sun has shown a few more signs of life over the last few days, so let's see what's going on. It has produced two sea flares, first of which was tagged by NOAA as coming from region 1176, and the second from region 1183. The disappearance of two regions over the west limb has dropped the sunspot number to about 100. Not tremendously exciting stuff, but it has produced a couple of very beautiful crown mass ejections, as we shall see later. The sunspot and magnetic field movies from the Solar Dynamics Observatory show little development. If anything, 1176 seems to be weakening. Over the last 48 hours, in the Helium 2 movie, we see some minor activity in the spot regions, but it is the filaments and prominences that remain very dynamic. The million degree corona shows large scale transequatorial loops, which is not unusual. Now let's take a look at the coronal mass ejections. Here's the first one off the east limb, and the outflow seems to continue on for hours. The second one is right at the end of the sequence. Beautiful, isn't it? If we look at the whole sun, we can see that there are yet more regions in the northern hemisphere to appear over the east limb. But they look weak and disorganized, so we may not expect much activity from them unless there's renewed growth. To, so, to summarize, the sunspot number has fallen to about 104 as two regions rotated over the west limb. The X-ray background is steady at about the B5 level. The radio sun, the F10.7 flux, is at a modest 119 solar flux units. The solar wind speed is steady at about 320 km per second, and geomagnetic activity, as measured by the KP index, is low. Solar activity is expected to remain low over the next few days, with predominantly small flares, and a decreasing probability of large flares. However, there are a lot of filaments, so we might expect some more coronal mass ejections in the coming days. Thanks for watching, keep safe, bye for now.